What's up there? Um, a lot of you may not know this, but yesterday after I was able to leave YouTube for good and leave behind my own life, I immediately this morning started my road to recovery to being who I used to be. And so far I can only say that it's not been easy. Now that my body's actually calm, um, I've been dealing with like the stress, like the aftershock of stress and being sick from that aftershock. And when I say being sick, I mean like actual physically like being sick. Um, I've been doing what I can to try to get rid of this sickness. Um, it's been hard. I'll admit it's been a hard first 24 hours on my road to recovery, but I'm thankful I have good friends, good family to help me out. Um, Time can lie, this morning was, was rough. Cause see this morning, when I hopped in the bathtub to soak, so I can sweat out this sickness. For like the first 10 minutes, I sat there and I bawled my eyes out. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I sat there and I cried and I bawled my eyes out. Not only was I crying because it's finally over after seven years. But I cried my eyes out even more because during the this whole ordeal I had never once been able to mourn the loss of my friends or my family that had passed away over the past seven years. I had never been able to, you know, mourn their loss. I had never been able to mourn the death of those that I cared about. And I, I fully broke down crying. Not because I'm weak, but because the fact that everything is finally over. A lot of people think that, you know, true strength is dealing with something as long as I have. But that's where they're wrong. True strength is being able to get up every day and face each day head on. And fighting to find a way to make the best of it, which is what I've done all these years. So it's not that I've been being strong. I've just been merely keeping my head above the water for as long as I can. And trying to help those along the way that I can to keep them from drowning just like I was drowning. I tried to keep them drowning from the noise of the bullshit just like I was trying to keep myself from drowning from the bullshit of the noise. For seven years I swam through an ocean of darkness. Didn't know if I was ever gonna make it out. I didn't know if I was gonna survive. Because there were times where I honestly thought that it was over for me. That I was going to not see the next day or the next evening or even see my family again.
Now, I know a lot of people are saying, like, oh, but YouTube is where the money's at. Like, you need to be over there. I don't care about the money. I don't. I cannot back up or support a platform that allows such hatred on their channel. Not only from people that I've dealt with, but other content creators too that have suffered. There's many other content creators out there that have suffered at the hands of very similar people. Very, very similar people. So when I speak on how YouTube is a very bad platform and it breeds hatred, I'm not just talking about what I went through. I'm speaking for every content creator as a whole. Every content creator that's dealt with this shit. Which is why I'm not going back on the YouTube ever. Yes, I might make money off of my one channel, but I don't care. I would rather pioneer another platform. And do my stuff on another platform where I can be appreciated. Where if something goes on, they will do something. I cannot, I cannot support a platform like YouTube that does not do anything about this pandemic and this outbreak that's going on in their platform. And as I have stated many times over the last few days, I understand I did a lot of bad stuff. I completely understand. But as I have also stated, there were certain things that were said and done to put me in those positions to where I felt like I had to do the things that I had to do. And they, a lot of them were things I did not want to do. So I can honestly say that you guys out there that are making the false accounts of me, you guys need to stop. I am not coming back to YouTube. I am not going to respond to any of you. Because all you trolls over there on YouTube that like to make fake accounts of me and talk shit and do this and do that, you're wasting your time. Yeah, I get it. You might call me weak. You might call me a bitch. Whatever. I don't care. Like, I genuinely don't care what you call me. I have no want or need or desire to be back on YouTube ever again. And a lot of people have been asking me, well, what are you going to do now that you're not on YouTube? Where are you going to go? Nowhere. I'm not going to go on to any platform for at least a year. The rest of this year is going to be spent on me working on myself. And if I do decide to go on a platform, I will have very, very good moderators with me. But until I get my physical and mental health right, I will not be on any platform, period. But so far, recovery is going good. Um, I have my first appointment tomorrow to figure out what we can do to speed up the process to heal my body. Which I'm excited for. Well, I don't have my first appointment tomorrow, but tomorrow I get to set up the appointment so we can talk with my doctor and figure out the healing process to go about to help speed up my recovery with my eczema, my dermatitis, and maybe even, you know, possibly you know, some other things to kind of help boost this, you know, to boost the healing process even more. 
Because a lot of people think that it's easy living with eczema and dermatitis, but it's not. It's painful. It's one of the most painful things that you can ever deal with in the world. It makes you tired. It makes you sleep a lot. It makes you depressed at times because you feel trapped in your own body. You feel like you can't move. You're in pain almost all the time. No matter what you do, your body doesn't retain moisture, so it makes it hard to do anything. Like, you can't do simple things like move your limbs, you know, move your arms, move your legs, all without being in pain. But, as I said, tomorrow I finally get to start my appointment when my doctor to get onto the road to recovery so I can start the healing process. Or, or I should say so I can help kickstart and speed up the healing process. Okay. With that being said, I will catch you guys probably next month for a new update because I'm only going to post videos once a month on here for a while. But yeah, whenever I have an update around next month or within the next few weeks, I will let you guys know. And I can honestly say that it feels good to be back to just relaxing, living my life, hanging with my friends and family. It feels good to be normal again. It really does. It feels so good to be normal again. You know. I'll see you guys back here for my next update within the next few weeks or like I said more than likely the next month is going to be my next update. So yeah, peace.